Not bad, thanks. Quite cosy. <laughs> Go on then, show me the den. Oh, it's not, it's not. Just... Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. How so long? Uh, how long did that take to set up? Uh, not too bad, actually. Probably about like ten minutes. My back hurts a bit at the moment, though. So <laughs> I was like crawling around on the floor, thinking I'm not going to get up again after this. But listen, you don't oh, need to. You're in for a long, long night of camping out. Don't worry <laughs> exactly. about that. I am. Exactly. Uh, I'll show you my then. It's very similar, actually. So I'm oh, yeah. up against my uh, my chest of drawers. Oh yeah. That uh, my roof is locked into one of those and then over there which that's my little footrest oh yeah and uh that's <laughs> tied into something on the far end and i think there's a pile of washing up there which is propping up the far end of the ceiling as well so i've got a few sweets with me so uh, we should be all right for tonight yeah all sorted oh no i didn't think of bringing anything like that Damn you it. need treats you, you can yeah. tell you're an amateur at this you you can tell it's it's, it's the first time you've done it you need treats have you got a charger for your phone? No. Oh, come on, Eleanor, Eleanor, <laughs> Eleanor you, need, you need a phone charger. You need something to keep you busy. Have you got pillows? Yes, I've got pillows, actually. Bonus, Bonus. take that. Well, I've, I've made the mistake. I've only got one. So that, that could be a bit hit or miss and the floor is hard, but at least it stops me from leaning up against these. So we're not bad. We're not bad. Um, be, before we chat any more, Obviously, you are from North Staff's Mine, which yep. is the whole reason behind this brilliant evening and why everyone is camping out. Just tell us a little bit about your role, first of all. Okay, sure. So I'm the fundraiser at North Staff's Mind. Um, I started just at the beginning of this year, um, so I wasn't there for long and, uh, before we were all locked down. My role is really just to support anyone who wants to do some fundraising for us, just to help them with whatever they've thought of doing. And uh, yeah. So where, where, will, where will the money go from nights like this? And the money that does get raised, where, where will it go and what will the effect be? Yeah, so um, North Staff's Mind uh, provides mental health services throughout North Staffordshire. Um, that could be things like uh, counselling, support groups, work in schools. We do training for businesses, um, adult housing support. Um, I'm sure I've missed something. Um, but there is more. Um, so really, by supporting North Staff's Mind, you're making sure that the money stays local um, and goes towards local mental health services, um, which is really important at the moment, especially given the current restrictions that we're all facing and that sort of thing. It's really taken its toll on people's mental health. So we're trying to be there in any way that we can for people. I was going to say for for you guys, I guess it's, it's a busy time any, any time because mental health problems are... 24 7 they're not something you can just turn off at any given given point but given the scenario that we've seen this year how difficult has it made things it has been really difficult because um with everything shut down we had to have some of our staff on furlough as well while there was more demand from people in the community for services and we've had to change the way that we help people as well um so you know while well, face-to-face counselling, we've now made that into telephone um, counselling for the meantime so that we can still reach out to people and our support groups as well. We had to do them via Zoom. Um, so lots of stuff is now is just turning virtual. Um, now that the schools are back open, um, we've been able to kind of carry on with that work um, and that sort of thing. So, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't remember your original question. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry at all. It's probably just because I'm sat so strange I, get, I, I don't think I've ever done an interview like this in my life. Nope. Nope. This is definitely not what I thought I signed up for, but I quite like it, actually. You quite like it. I'll take that. That's probably the nicest thing anyone's ever said. So okay. I'll take that as a bonus, especially tonight. Um, yeah. So given the circumstances, as we've seen, things have been incredibly difficult for, for a lot of people. Has there been an increased demand for your kind of services? Yeah, definitely. So um, National Mind, the, the national charity, um, did some research with people um, this year kind of following lockdown and they had 16,000 people as part of that survey. And of those 16,000 people, 60% of adults said that their mental health got worse during lockdown and 68% of children and young people said that their mental health got worse during lockdown. Um, so I think it's 
you know that that was just kind of after the first one obviously with you know various restrictions being kind of up and down and people not really knowing what's happening um, and now that it's becoming more long term as well you know we, we are expecting those sorts of issues to kind of keep um, keep going for a lot longer than you know than the time that we might be locked down for we're kind of expecting it to be like a longer term issue from that um, and we have seen you know we've seen like different problems that people have been coming to us with as well um, because there have also been issues about like if you're stuck in the house with a lot of people you know people might not feel as comfortable in speaking on the phone if they can be overheard by others um, so you know the kind of support that they're looking for is different as well and we've had to really change the way that we try and help them. So, so what is your response I know every case is is difficult but if there was some kind of techniques or any kind of advice that you would give to people who perhaps are struggling at the minute what would what would that be i think it's maybe important to acknowledge how you're feeling and try not to you know put it behind you it's it's a valid feeling um you know and you deserve to get help with that if it's you know making you feel bad um so but there are there are five ways to well-being and this is going to be my real test for trying to remember them all now um <laughs> but you know the five ways to well-being um really kind of give some quick pointers about things that you can do to kind of help your mental health uh one of them i definitely remember is connecting with people so it can be like really tempting to want to shy away and just kind of you know shut out um other people but if you you know just try and reach out to others just have a conversation with someone um listen to people be there if anybody else that you know is struggling with their mental health as well um so it's really yeah just trying to keep that contact with people which is i think has been like, extra important this year um another one is uh nature as well so getting out and about something like going for a walk or a run just trying to clear your head that way is another it's another top tip i think <laughs> well in in all fairness I, i'm not very open like a lot of people in in terms of talking about mental health and i think a lot of people struggle with the same kind of thing um yeah. and this year in particular for me i have found it ridiculously difficult because my whole livelihood is going out and about filming or doing shows or doing really kind of outgoing stuff and then to have that all pushed back or mm cancelled or moved or whatever it may be my whole life is centered around meeting people and doing what i like to see as fun stuff um, yeah. that, that this year has all been kind of taken away and that for me yeah. has been really really hard but the people that you have around you is just important to to express those feelings isn't it and and yeah. like say get out and about there, there was times when i didn't leave the house for days and days on end and yeah i guess the first step of coming away from that or almost helping yourself in a way is to just talk yeah yeah and it is easier said than done um you know it is quite hard for a lot of people especially if you are struggling with your mental health it's just not always a very comfortable conversation to have um but i think you know even if you don't want to go straight into you know the really deep conversations just letting those someone know if you're not feeling okay even if you don't want to go into too much at that point i think that's just a really good start um because it's kind of i think it's kind of a work in progress you know for some people who maybe aren't naturally that open about the way they're feeling well fingers crossed we do start to see things slowly get back to normal and hopefully yeah. we can do that very very soon but just finally if anyone was thinking about reaching out to someone like yourself and, and, a, and a, a company like mind in North Staffs how would they go about doing that? Yep so um, the number to call is 01782 262 100 um, and then you'll be speaking to one of our wonderful receptionists who will be able to let you know what support's available and how to access it um, another way, if you don't want to phone, is by emailing reception at nsmind.org.uk. Um, and again, they should be able to point you in the right direction. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We will let you go back to your nice hard floor. And um, oh, <laughs> yeah, best of luck getting some sleep. And we will speak to you soon. Thanks very, very much for joining us, Eleanor. Thank you so much to everyone who's decided to do this tonight as well. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.